I get you. You can tell me everything. I understand your every word. It echoes in my soul, making a delightful sound. The sound that intoxicates me. Because those are the words of your soul. They match mine, creating unity of soulmates. Maybe you're surprised by the ease with which I get you. Because our realities are different. Just like us, but I get you. I understand your every word. I feel like you understand me too. You understand my every word, but it's hard for you to believe that. To believe in such amazing unity of soulmates. You can tell me everything. I understand your every word. I understand your every word as you understand mine. The magnitude of our understanding exceeds all our expectations. You're like a family to me. You are like a family to me. Why? I do not know. Maybe it's the connection between you and my soul that makes you close to me. It is impossible to explain such feeling. Our relationship is strange. You're so close to me, I feel like I can tell you everything. Sometimes you walk away from me, like a horizon from the shore. It's like I'm standing on the coast, looking at you in the distance. I stretch my hand out to touch you, but you're far away. You look at me from the horizon. From time to time you engulf me, like the waves do seashores. Then I can easily jump into the sea, which I see in your eyes. And I don't need to tell you anything. You understand my every feeling. Sometimes I get mad at you. I don't agree with you on something. Just as I thought of how far you have drifted away from me, you become close to me again, as always. I can feel you. You don't need to tell me anything. I already know everything about you. Nobody told me anything about you. I just feel you with my heart and soul. I even read your thoughts sometimes. You live your life away from me. But regardless of the distance that separate us, I know everything that happens in your life. Because I feel you with my heart and soul. I even read your thoughts sometimes. I have no doubt you can also feel me. That you sometimes read my thoughts too. Knowing everything about me, about my life, even though no one ever tells you. You don't need to tell me anything. An invisible thread connects us. It is within our hearts and souls, and through it, we feel. Sometimes even our thoughts meet halfway, sending my messages to you and yours to me. And that's why you don't need to tell me anything. I read your thoughts sometimes because I feel you with my heart and soul. Once, once, there will be no fear in the world. Once, there will be no suffering, no pain, no tears in the eyes. Once, love will return to the hearts of all, and there will be no longer those with no love in their hearts. It will become clear that nothing in this world has significance other than shining feeling of love, because love is magical, wondrous on its own, and when it comes to you, you are going to believe it. Your heart will feel it. All that was impossible will become possible. All that you dreamt of now became reality. When your heart receives love, people around you feel it. And maybe they start welcoming it in their hearts too. There will not be me and you, he or she, just as it will be. And miracle was born in the human world, and miracle in our world has begun. 
looking at each other as a soul to soul, we understand the pain of one is pain of all. A miracle was born and a miracle began. The pain is gone. Love rules all the hearts. Once. You. You're close to me, and far away, sometimes intimate, sometimes strange. I'm inspired by your words when you give them to me. They have a great, unimaginable depth in which I dissolve. When there are no words of yours, my soul hurts. That pain is killing me, I want to hear your words. I want to melt in their depths. I want to meet you at the underwater castle at the bottom of the ocean. To whisper words of love in silence. To be far from everyday life. To feel love deep inside us. I want so bad. But those are just my dreams. Because you're rarely with me. When you come, you bring eternal spring with you. My heart gets intoxicated with the first rays of sun, bright fragrant flowers, your whole being, but mostly with your words. I'm intoxicated by your presence and then, what then? Then, then you leave and I can't stand being left alone. You take spring with you, you leave me all alone to wait for the long winter in the darkness and cold and I'm not even offended I love you so much that I can't even be offended I'm just waiting I'm waiting for your return and my salvation you